When a company is looking at relocating, the first thing they should look at is the resourcing model. Can they source the people they need to do the things they want to do? Secondly, they probably need to look at the quality of life or the cost of living. And then they need to look at a city or a region that has a certain amount of deal flow because it's important to be in deal flow. So the Research Triangle Park is centrally located between three internationally recognized universities. There's NC State, there's Duke University, and then there's the University of North Carolina here in Chapel Hill. I think the real strength of the academic infrastructure in the Triangle is that it's diverse. We're the land-grant university, so we have a historic strength in agriculture and engineering. We have one of the highest ranked veterinary medicine programs in the world. UNC Chapel Hill, a great strength in human medicine, and Duke, a fantastic engineering school, and also a great human medicine. We have overlap in expertise, for sure, but we also have very unique strengths. So when you put the three together, we collectively provide a lot of strength in the region. How companies benefit from that is through research partnerships. Last year alone, NC State had 25 startup companies come out of our university. That's important to the large companies that make up the triangle because often they're developing their new products by partnering with startup companies, in some cases acquiring those startup companies. Take a company like Apple that's moving to the region. You know, Apple benefits from being in an environment where there are startup companies launching because they benefit from seeing the new technology that's emerging out of that ecosystem. And that's true for Cisco and IBM and GlaxoSmithKline and, uh, and the fintech industry, all of the industry that's located here. Alphanumeric's been in, in business for 42 years. Uh, we started here in the Triangle region. We still maintain that. We want to be a part of that group that is transforming the marketplace today. Being in the Triangle, it fits well with our strategy. Number one, there are a lot of pharmaceutical companies in the Triangle. Secondly, there are a lot of companies coming to the Triangle or looking at coming to the Triangle. RTP is a place that I believe that not only do our domestic partners and companies want to be a part of, but our international partners as well. You know, we are close to RDU, Raleigh-Durham, airport. We're also not far from our rails and ports. So the means of transportation for the supply chains, I believe that North Carolina and RTP is a great place uh, to actually access that. When you look at the total individual, there's two pieces of, of that individual. There's the work life and there's the home life. The triangle is appealing because not only are you able to have a good quality of life, the cost of living is reasonable. It's also located in an area that allows you to visit the mountains or the beach within a couple hours drive, sometimes less than that. I've lived a number of other places and I've called North Carolina home for over 11 years now. My family all lives here now and we enjoy the benefit of a great music scene. It's a great place to live, a great place to raise a family, and a phenomenal place to eat. The restaurants and the chefs in this region are some of the best in the world. I think the business community here is, is there to help each other. I've never seen it stronger than I've seen it in this region. The region is really focused on solving the grand challenges of our society. North Carolina is the home of some of the largest agricultural biotech companies in the world. And, and they're focused on solving the big challenges of feeding a growing population all over the world and doing it in an environmentally friendly way. And when you think about what we've all gone through with this pandemic, the Research Triangle region has been one of the major international players in the rapid production of vaccine. I've been studying coronaviruses for about 35 years. Our studies indicated that animal coronaviruses were poised for cross-species transmission and that a new epidemic or outbreak is inevitable. So we had established collaborations with Gilead 
to start thinking about how to develop broad-based drugs and therapeutics that would be on a shelf and ready to use in the case of a future pandemic. And we had shown a drug named Remdesivir. We had published papers in 2017. Gilead had submitted the IND paperwork right about at the time of the COVID-19 emergence events. So it immediately went into human trials and is used as the backbone treatment for all other therapies that are mixed with it today. Another contribution was a second drug that was uh, under some development at, at Emory University called uh, EIDD2801, which is another direct acting antiviral. We also showed within the first couple of months of the pandemic that it also worked against COVID-19. That drug has moved into phase three trials right now. And we had developed animal models so that um, immunotherapeutics could be evaluated. So the, uh, for example, the Lilly antibody and AstraZeneca antibody were tested in our labs. The young want a different environment. They want an environment where they can live, work, and play within the region. And the Research Triangle Park Foundation investing billions of dollars to create a hub, a hub of activity that includes residential, retail, as well as opportunities for startup companies. In the next 10 years, I think you see continued growth in the Triangle. I think the kids from these great educational institutions stay home. I think that people no longer just fly over the Triangle going from Boston and New York to Florida. I think the Triangle is overtaking some of uh, these big metropolitan areas. People just realize they can do their job somewhere else. It doesn't have to be in a big metropolitan city.